Welcome to Chapter 2 of our story, where the air is thick with the scent of aged paper and the faint, metallic tang of machinery. This is a world where steam-powered contraptions clank and hiss, and shadows stretch and twist, beckoning you deeper into the labyrinth of towering shelves. Join us as we explore the mysteries that lie within this dimly lit bookshop, where our brave adventurers, led by Clara Wren, face their fears and uncover secrets that could change their lives forever. Clara Wren stood at the entrance of the bookshop, her heart pounding like a drum in her chest. The shadows seemed to stretch and twist, beckoning her deeper into the labyrinth of shelves that towered above her. Beside her, Jasper Flint adjusted his leather jacket, his blue eyes scanning the dimly lit aisles with a mix of bravado and trepidation. Lydia Thorne, with her vintage attire and oversized glasses, clutched a book to her chest, her fingers trembling slightly as she whispered, What if we find something? Something we can't handle? Theo, the youngest of the group, offered a reassuring grin, though his own hands fidgeted nervously at his sides. The atmosphere was thick with anticipation, each of them feeling the weight of the unknown pressing down on them. Mr. Hawthorne, the enigmatic proprietor, appeared from the shadows, his wild silver hair framing a face etched with wisdom and weariness. Ah, my brave adventurers, he said, his voice a gravelly whisper that seemed to echo through the aisles. You've returned to face your fears, I see. His knowing smile sent a shiver down Clara's spine, a reminder of the creature she had unleashed during their last visit. As they gathered around a table cluttered with ancient tomes, Mr. Hawthorne began to share stories of his own encounters with fear. Fear is a beast, he said, his eyes glinting with a mix of nostalgia and regret. But it can also be a teacher. Clara felt a flicker of hope ignite within her. Perhaps this was the moment they would learn to confront their demons together. One by one, the friends began to share their fears. Clara spoke of her fear of abandonment, her voice barely above a whisper. I always feel like I'm going to be left behind, just like my parents left each other. Jasper, his bravado faltering, admitted, I'm terrified of failing, of not living up to my family's expectations. Lydia, her voice trembling, revealed her fear of the unknown, the swirling mist of uncertainty that haunted her thoughts. Finally, Theo, with a hint of vulnerability, confessed his longing for acceptance the mirror of his insecurities reflecting back at him. As they spoke, the atmosphere shifted. The shadows in the bookshop seemed to pulse with life, and the books began to whisper secrets, their pages rustling like the wings of trapped birds. Mr. Hawthorne guided them to a shelf marked with an intricate symbol, a sigil that seemed to shimmer in the dim light. These books hold the key to your fears, he explained, his voice low and urgent. But be warned, Confronting them will not be easy.